things we need to do. As Jesus was getting into the boat, the man, who had been demon possessed begged to go with him. But Jesus said, No, go home to your family, and tell them everything the Lord has done for you, and how merciful he has been. Mark chapter 5 verse 18 to 19. After healing the madman, Jesus' party left the region by boat. At that time, the healed madman knelt at the feet of Jesus and begged to be able to stay by Jesus' side and always listen to his words. However, Jesus told them to go home and preach the great things the Lord has done for them. Their task was to go to the houses of Gentiles and convey the blessings they received from Jesus. Of course, it was difficult for them to be separated from Christ. They would surely face great hardships when coming into contact with the Gentiles. Furthermore, they seemed to have no authority credibility because of their past as madmen, separated and rejected from society. However, their qualifications come from Christ, therefore, no one could take or receive them. Qualifications from grace have a greater influence than any other knowledge and honor. These men not only influenced their families, but also all the Decapolis Valley area. And they were even more blessed when they lived for the Lord's purpose instead, when they would have stayed with Him for their own benefit. I hope that our day will be a life of obedience. That begins with the grace of God. Loving Lord, please help us to live in obedience and to treat all our works and people in your grace. In your name we pray, Amen.